everyone. This is Troy from TroyPoint.com. And in this video, I will show you how to set up WireGuard VPN with IP Vanish on a router. Now, the reason you may want to do this is because you will get much faster VPN speeds on streaming devices and you can protect your entire network without dealing with VPN apps on each device. It also allows you to protect devices that we can't install VPNs onto. This video complements my video best Wi-Fi 6 WireGuard VPN router setup. And it's important to watch that video for the full setup. And I will provide a link for that tutorial in the notes below. In this video and that video, I'm using the popular Asus AX5700 router, but the same process will work on most Asus routers as long as they have the VPN Fusion feature built in. The purchase link for the router I'm using is also located in the notes below. I'm on my Windows PC and you will see that I'm logged into the admin panel of the Asus router. Now to set up the IP Vantage VPN service, I'm gonna move down, click VPN, go into VPN Fusion. So when you're referencing my first video on this, you will simply replace how I log into Surfshark VPN with these instructions here for IP Vanish. They make this extremely easy for Surfshark VPN customers by going through this tool here. And it does take a few more steps with IP Vanish VPN, but it's very easy to do. First, you want to log into your IP Vanish VPN account through their website. And on the left side here, click WireGuard, and you want to choose a WireGuard location to connect to. And you're going to see everything they have available here in this drop down. Now, to get the best possible speeds out of this, I strongly suggest connecting to a server that's closest to your physical location. And for me, that would be Chicago. So I'm going to choose Chicago. I'm going to go to Advanced Options. And for me, I want to exclude LAN traffic. And what that means is that the VPN won't be active for the network traffic on my local area network. If you don't check this, you may have problems if you're trying to access home media servers, Plex Media Server, Jellyfin, and things like that. There's really no need for your internal network to be protected by a VPN. Now I'm going to click the Generate button. Now if you get an error such as this here, I suggest just coming up here, hitting the drop down menu again, and choosing a different server. And again, trying to choose something that's closest to your physical location. So I'm gonna try Detroit. Hit Generate. Now it's given me a configuration file, and I'm going to save that to my downloads folder on my computer. Now once I've done that, I'm going to open Windows Explorer, and you're gonna see the configuration file here. I'm gonna open that, choose Notepad to open it, and this is the information that we need to set up IP Vanish VPN on this router. So I'm going to minimize this for now. I'm gonna go back into my Asus router panel. I'm gonna click Add Profile, Connection Name. Now I'm gonna call this IP Vanish and the location we're using. Keep in mind you can add multiple server locations in this profile area. I'm gonna move down. VPN type, we want to choose WireGuard. Now it does give us the option to upload the configuration file that we just downloaded. However, I've found that that does not work properly. So we're just gonna fill this information in manually. It's asking for the private key. I'm gonna come back down here, open the configuration file. I'm gonna copy the private key, paste it in, IP address, same thing. DNS server, don't need to worry about MTU, and now we're into the peer section. Back to the config file, I'm going to copy the public key for peer. Now I'm going to copy all of these allowed IPs. Don't need to worry about pre-shared key. 
and then endpoint address. And you're gonna see underneath that, it's asking for endpoint port. Now the port is included in the endpoint address and it's 51820. So I'm gonna type that in and then get rid of that here in addition to the colon. We don't need to do anything with persistent keep alive. Now I'm gonna press the apply and enable button. Okay, you're gonna see here it says it's connecting and now it's connected. Okay, let's test that this is working. I'm gonna open another tab here in my browser. I'm gonna to go to dnsleaktest.com and it has assigned me a new IP address, which you will see here. It's coming from the Detroit IP Vanish VPN server. I'll hit extended test. And you just wanna make sure that none of your private information is showing on this page, specifically the IP address that your internet service provider assigns to you and everything looks good to me. So there are no leaks. Now let's test the download and upload speeds on my PC. All right, I'm gonna hit the go button. Now I am getting pretty good download speeds, but in the past I have used that Chicago server and I have gotten better speeds than this. So I will go back and get that Chicago server set up once it's available again. And if for some reason it's still not working, I will reach out to IP Vanish VPN support and see if they can fix that. So everything is working the way it should on my PC. IP Vanish VPN's WireGuard protocol is now set up on my router. Something else I wanna show you is that you can come into the connection and you can direct which devices you want to protect and which devices you don't. Maybe you only want to protect your streaming devices on your home network. You can easily come in here and do that. And again, I go through that in my original video on this, best Wi-Fi 6 WireGuard VPN router setup. It's extremely important that you watch this video for additional tips and tricks on how to do this. Okay, now I'm gonna move over to my on 4K Pro Android TV box. We're gonna to connect to the wireless access point through this router that I just set up, and let's test the speeds over there. Okay, it's important to terminate any VPN connection you have running on your streaming device due to the fact that we're going to be connecting to the router that has the VPN protection. So what I wanna do is go into the IP Vanish VPN app, make sure it's disconnected. So this is currently connected. I'm gonna click disconnect, go back to the home screen, and if you're using the kill switch, you also want to make sure that you turn this off. If we don't turn this off, we're not gonna be able to use the internet on this device. Back to the home screen. And now what I would do is go up to the top, go into settings, go into network, and I would connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot that is set up on my Asus WireGuard VPN router. And in this example, I will be using the five gigahertz connection because that should be the fastest. Okay, let's test the download speed. I will use the Analyti speed test. You can get this for free through the Google Play Store or if you're using a Fire TV, you can get it through the Amazon App Store. And you'll see at the top, it says Strong Technology LLC. That's the VPN server that it's connecting through. Extremely fast download speed, as you can see with the VPN active. Now, if we were going through the IP Vanish VPN application, it would be much slower, usually between 60 and 100. And the reason this is so much faster is because it's putting the workload on the router instead of the streaming device. These streaming devices don't have really powerful CPUs and that's the reason for the diminished download and upload speeds when a VPN is active. Now, one thing I do wanna comment on is if you move over to the left, move down, check VPN. This is very similar to the DNS leak test tool we used earlier. Now right away you're probably going to see where it says this connection is not using VPN software on this device. Now all that means is you're not using a VPN application. There's no way for it to know whether or not it's actually going through the VPN connection on your router. Just want to make sure that there's no personal information on here, specifically your outside IP address that your ISP assigns to you. 
Some people come in here and start freaking out that it shows the name of their internet service provider. It might say something like strong technology over Cox Internet or something like that. And that's just due to the fact that Analyti is remembering that you have connected through your internet provider in the past without a VPN active. And to fix that, all you need to do is go into settings, apps, Analyti, clear cache. Guys, everything that I reference will be linked in the video notes below. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this in the future. As always, thank you very much for following Troy Point. Have an awesome day.